Today we've got the Galway Community Circus cast for the Lifeline spectacle. They're going to be working as part of a European ensemble troupe. So there'll be the, the Irish team of a, of a larger European team with about six or seven other organisations. And they're going to be performing a special piece for the big day on the 16th of July for the Lifeline project at the Car Basin. Um, today we're really just trying to hone in on their specific skills and maybe some little bit of flourishes we can put on the show because it's their last day of training on the high wire before we do rehearsals at the basin. Lifeline is this big uh, participatory project on the art form of funambulism, which means uh, wire walking with the balancing pole. It's a project produced by Galway Community Circus together with our partners around Ireland and uh, Europe. It aimed to highlight the importance of positive mental health, to improve uh, well-being among the participants taking part in the project, and to create this big large-scale spectacle, actually the biggest uh, wire-walking performance in Europe. My name is Bridget McLaughlin. I joined Galway Community Circus in 2010 and I've been doing it for 12 years. I really like how it's not competitive, you know, obviously we still play games and stuff at the beginning of classes and so on, but it's a very friendly environment, I feel, other than like how team sports are. It's more about sharing tricks and learning from each other rather than being the best at something. I've full faith in them. They, they, they've, they've worked so much and we've pushed them so much to work really hard over the last couple of months that they're going to be fine on the big day. They know how to manage themselves now, which is a big transformative thing from working with this material. There was no if and or buts today. They were just straight up and loving it and smiling and, and trying tricks, as you saw, and, and nailing things that they didn't think they'd get. It's a big payoff for us and it's a big win for them. And it's hopefully going to transfer into other aspects of their lives so they can learn the resilience and the confidence and the, the, the fear management and the stress management, the anxiety management and tools that maybe they don't know they have now, but they, they do have deep within them. Okay, start opening up like the beautiful flowers you are. But we're not there yet. We still have a couple of weeks to go and they still have a technical rehearsal to go. So I don't want them to start feeling like it's over. And I especially don't want to start feeling like it's over. We have to keep the foot on the pedal a little bit and just, just make the best performance we can for these guys to give them the best experience we can. My name is Imi. I come from Romania with a team, uh, youngsters from Romania. We are part of this youth exchange here in Galway. Uh, and it's amazing for us to be here. We have six youngsters and two leaders for the team. My role is also to give the Funambulism workshop to all other groups from all the countries that take part in this youth exchange. I'm Valentina and I'm a team leader and a Funambulism coach for this project. And I'm Italian, but I'm, I'm here with the Belgium team. Yeah, I've been here in Galway uh, twice before and I really like the Galway actually. So I'm very happy to come back here and to do this here. In this place full of, uh, I feel that it's full of magic, history and and uh, I don't know, it's, it's kind of special energy here, I feel this. You know, uh, circus is a, it's a big, small world, so somehow the, the circus schools know each other. We 
we write projects together and so Galway Community Circus made a proposition for us to be part in this very big and amazing project, Lifeline. So we are like partners on a European project. The event will be like really soon, uh, but I think everyone is ready. There is a lot of very good energy and people are really enthusiastic about uh, the event. Each country will present like a small 12 minutes presentation and then we will work all together uh, another 12 minutes presentation. We all had different slots for when we got to go wire walking, but each group would have to share with another. So we were sharing with the Romanian troupe from Circus and it was really nice because we got to work with them on the wire and see how they did their performance and so on. And there was a lot of sharing because we would show them how, how we did Circus here and they showed us tricks they would do over there. The technical uh, side is not the most important. So we work with eyes closed, for example, to be conscious of the body. And also we try to be uh, in couple to help each other. What we try is to work really on the um, self-confidence, actually, and to go over the fears and the limits that most of the time are uh, in our head and not in our body and our heart. So that's what we try to do. I enjoy a lot circus and uh, funambulism is part of the circus. It's a balanced discipline. It's really uh, related to the mindfulness. So you, you do a physical action, but in the same time you have to be really uh, concentrate on yourself. On You have to be good on, when you are on the wire and it's really important to be relaxed because every single movement that your uh, body, your muscles are doing, the wire will take this movement. I'm uh, Peter Connolly. Um, I'm the mindfulness uh, trainer on the on the Lifeline project. And as an occupational therapist, we often work with people through activities, so doing things that have skills that are, you know, and trying to empower people and um, tap into their creativity as a way of promoting well-being and engagement. So I think the activity of phenomenalism, which is sort of wire walking, might might feel a little bit left field uh, initially when people think about it. But, but I think by its very nature, you know, it is very mindful. Um, and it's certainly really helpful for getting into your body uh, and being able to focus. You could say that uh, you know, anyone who's doing phenomenalism you know, has a lot of the mindfulness qualities already. Maybe not them all, of course, but, but, but they're certainly well on the way. My name is Freddie Burrows and I'm a rigger for the Lifeline project. We have three setups of wire, tight wire um, areas. So we have the hexagon shaped wire setup with the three meter wires and six meter wires. And then we have two straight wires over this side, which are three meters as well. And then there's the big tall, I think it's 10 meter wire going across the span to the Spanish arch on the other side. We've had about three teams of riggers, so in total between 20 and 30 riggers, I'd say. We're riggers of the wires and the humans, so we'll be doing the, um, 
the harnesses and stuff like that. That's our job as well. And then Saturday, it's going to be a long day. I think we've got 12 hours on these platforms here to help people in and out of their harnesses. So the, the reason why we chose uh, the, the area of Spanish art and the River Corrib for Lifeline was uh, mainly um, because of what happened in early 2016. Um, it, was a, it was a time in Galway that um, there was a, a lot of um, tragedy around uh, mental health and, and suicide in Galway City. There was this big need within the community that uh, we need to do something about this. We need to address this somehow. At Galway Kim Circus, we wanted to do a, an arts uh, project that would be um, a circus way of um, addressing mental health. First of all, we wanted to um, introduce this activity of funambulism for people of Galway. Um, it's, a, it's a great activity for mindfulness and uh, for learning techniques that can support your mental health and well-being. Secondly, we wanted to um, create this big public performance that would be a, a symbol of hope and resilience on that side of uh, the River Corrib. And through that, we wanted to um, raise awareness and, and kind of uh, create more conversation around the importance of uh, positive mental health and the, the importance of um, taking part in activities like the Golden Kim Circus or other kinds of um, activities where a person can, um, you know, develop tools um, for taking care of their own well-being and, uh, and to kind of have access to a safe, positive community. My name is Lisa O'Farrell and I am a tutor at the Galway Community Circus for the last uh, 12 years. I was making my first attempt to cross uh, 55 metres of wire over water, which quite terrifies me, to be honest. <laughs> but I managed uh, not to fall off or need to be rescued, so I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that fact. <laughs> Sorry, oh, Jesus. You did it, girlfriend. Goa Community Circus is a, it's a real, it is a real community, like it's in the name and it really is. We have a, a tendency to try and push kids and adults um, outside their comfort zones and when we expand our comfort zones then we're more comfortable in the world to try more and new things. Um, so I think this is, this is one thing that's, that's valuable uh, to, to anyone who participates in circus is to be pushed outside their comfort zone, like today. <laughs> I was pushed outside mine. <laughs> I would recommend for everyone to try. The doors are always open at the Galway Community Circus and there is something for everyone. So uh, it doesn't have to be the large things or the high things. There, like It could be uh, the manipulation like juggling or there's something for everyone, so everyone should, should try. <laughs> My name is Nastia Fekonia and I'm one of the ESC volunteers of, at GCC. When I arrived here I didn't have any experience with funambulism, so everything what I learned, I learned here and it's, I really love it because you really need to be focused and it's like, and when you are walking you're really enjoying the view and everything. 
I thought that it would be easier, but then I, I, when I was crossing, I hit the nuts, which are for the safety, and it was very wobbling. So I had really, I was fighting in my head, you know. I went a few times down, okay, Nastya, breathe. And then I, I went up again, but it was, I was like, okay, Nastya, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. And then was, yeah, I crossed it. <laughs> I mean, when I arrived here uh, to GCC, we were always telling uh, lifeline, lifeline, but now it's been in few days. So it's like, finally, the is day it's here. So it's like the team is very nice and we are really supporting each other. So I, I think that's the part of life, which I will not forget. <laughs> I'm Vincent Wouters and uh, I'm the artistic director of Basalto. When I discover funambulism, walking on a wire with a pole, I find it that so good that I decided to share that with everybody. I think funambulism is the start of a big story because nobody knows that funambulism is easy and it's so good for you, for your body, for your health, for your mental. And uh, in 10 years, 20 years, I think that many, many, many people will do that. The start of the Basalto project uh, was uh, happened in Brussels and, uh, and it happened very well and after that I thought we should work on a bigger structure and the bigger structure is the structure you can see there behind me. And when I have an idea, it's easy enough to have an idea. Many people say I have the idea. It's difficult to, to build the idea and I need people to build an idea, I need a team, I need a good team and uh, the first person for this project was Ula and after that I met uh, Mariona, the choreograph and Mariona said, said me, oh well, yes it's a nice project but uh, we, I think we, we have to work with Sergi and, and slowly the, 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 the team built up. Pues yo soy Sergi Ots y soy el director y el co-creador del espectáculo junto con Mariona. Todo el espectáculo se ha preparado en dos residencias anteriores y es la primera vez que, que por fin tenemos la instalación final encima del, del agua y ahora sobre todo estos primeros días estamos tratando que las artistas se acostumbren a la nueva altura, al reflejo del agua, porque les cambia toda, toda la perspectiva de todo lo que habíamos preparado y sobre todo pues empezar a ensayar para preparar este espectáculo para el sábado. Ilusionados mucho, porque hace desde el 2019 que, que Mariona y yo trabajamos en este proyecto, uh, que empezamos a crearlo, a escribirlo, tuvo que pararse por la pandemia, o sea que ya hace tres años que está guardado en una libreta y por fin ve, ve la luz. Mi nombre es Mariona Moya, es la Córcoles como nombre artístico y mi rol aquí es co-creación del espectáculo conjunto con Sergi Ots de Ponte en Pie. Llegamos justo ayer, fue el primer día que empezamos a trabajar uh, en el lugar real. El lugar real significa un exterior, entonces hoy hay lluvia, empieza a llover un poco. Esto va a cambiar las coreografías porque cambia las condiciones del cable. Entonces no siempre se puede trabajar de la misma manera. Hay el factor de la altura que no teníamos en los lugares de ensayo y que ahora tenemos 
porque el agua, estamos encima del agua, que ya es un elemento que perturba un poco y que da un poco más de miedo. Entonces están modificando las coreografías y estamos, es un espectáculo que como está en creación también está todavía muy cambiante. Entonces la audiencia no sé qué va a esperar, yo sé que, que va a estar sorprendido. <risa> So I am uh, Andrea Loreni, a high wire walker from Torino, Italia, and I'm here in Galway to walk the highest wire across the, um, across the river. I have never been in uh, Galway, neither in uh, Ireland before. I'm very happy to be here for this kind of performance. I'm not just a, a tourist, I'm something more, and I'm involved in, the, um, involved in something that is going to happen here. And so I'm very proud and uh, excited to, to walk uh, this is sky. I think and I believe that Funambulist is a tool to awake uh, and to know yourself better. It is not just a, a performing uh, language. It can be a performing language, a strong language for, um, for performance, but it's also something that everyone can use to, to search its own balance. My name is Ella Daly and I'm the costume designer for Lifeline here at Galway Community Circus. So the costume remit for this project is that there's about 130 people who have to be costumed for this and they're divided up into different groups. The effect is that when, when we, Ulla and I met first and started talking about the costume design for this, we needed practicality so they had to be flexible because I don't get to meet the performers until today or yesterday. And then the other thing was that I was very aware of is the, the landscape of Galway. I'm doing my PhD here in Galway and much like Limerick, it's a uh, grey, so the limestone, um, the architecture is quite grey, the sky is grey, the river is grey, and so trying to make an impact on top of that so that we can see our performers, we've gone with these super bright toned rainbow fabrics. We're, we hope that when we see all of our performers out on those lines that what we get is this incredible um, flurry of bright light, uh, colourful activity up on those lines, that they'll have that contrast against the sky, against the grey the grey landscape. My name is Neve Duforne um, and I'm here with Dublin Circus Project. To be honest with you, all of uh, Ireland circus, like you have Galway, you have Cork, you have Clock Georgian, Belfast, there is also one in Derry now and Dublin. We all connect, we all know each other, we all work together, we're all friends, you know, you see each other, you hug each other. It's like it's a spread out community, but it's one circus community. Everybody that I've met here is super nice, super helpful, like just uh, this pure support from everybody. It's something very unique and it's beautiful that Galway opened the door to people around the world. It's a big event and it's beautiful. It's just so impressive to look at. I think like you can even see as people walk by it, like this isn't even the real thing and people are already stopping to watch. I'm really happy with the group, with my group and with the group of locals that I, I found here. And for Saturday it's going to be great. Like I think it's going to be a, a lot of people, a lot of like energy and it's going to be good. I think everyone's just on a, a buzz. I think everyone's on a buzz. Like I think that's, that's what it is. There's going to be some very high energy tomorrow, especially when it finishes and it's all been done. It's going to be very electric. <laughs>
try to keep really stable on the standing foot. And what you're going to see here today is a representation of belief and courage and faith and support and all of the amazing principles that Circus stands for. So this is Lifeline. It is the biggest high wire spectacle ever to happen in Europe. Every um, time I walk the wire, I don't know exactly what uh, is going to happen. Generally, I try to feel uh, what's around, what is around me, what is surrounding me, the river, uh, the weather and the people and uh, make the performance uh, born in that very moment. When, uh, when you are on the wire, you are requested to be very focused on what you are doing. And uh, the point that for me is very, very interesting and uh, deep uh, is that you have to be in touch with your body. <laughs> if you are in touch with your sensation and uh, with your body, you, you are here and now. That is the point. The, our life is here as now, it's not uh, tomorrow or, or yesterday. And so um, wire makes you free to be what you are.
there was a lot of kind of gratitude. Um, for me, there was a lot of gratitude and joy about the day. I think um, people felt that we were sharing a really special moment after COVID and all the lockdowns and we've had this need to come together to celebrate a community and to have this big international gathering of people. And I think it was really nice as well, sort of the sentiment of why we were doing the Lifelines project to bring awareness around what happens in the basin with suicide. But on that day, it was really um, a site of celebrating community, of celebrating life.